Welcome back. In this part, we will focus on modifying and editing the top menu and the, the slider. So let's go ahead and see how the theme or let's say the template look like. So firstly, we have a full width uh, top nav menu, then also uh, a full width Japurama or slider. So let's go ahead with our menu. Firstly, we need to you know, launch our browser inspector then inspect the menu to understand how it's generated and is it possible you know to apply some background colors and so is there any padding to remove because as you see here it's there is no um, there is no space or you know between the top of the header and the menu okay so this is a container this is a display nav we so okay container uh, this is bootstrap class, so no, nothing really big here to manage. It's padding zero, so it's automatic. So the best practice: do not, um, you do not, I do not change the style or try to modify any properties of uh, the bootstrap uh, classes, whether it's a uh, it's container class or row or uh, whatever or car or whatever. So. It better to keep working with your default so as you see here we have some bed, bedding top which we don't need it for the moment so just turn it to zero we go to block top menu navigate to my ID block top menu block top menu yes this is it um, we probably need to navigate manually so again my template folder CSS model block top menu CSS block top menu then we just remove this little port I think I did it again okay okay that's good um, so far so good uh, also we need it to be full width so we can do a little trick so just keep the menu in default um, bootstrap container and at the same time assign a background for the container for the for this exactly for this div so or not not really we need to get this one as a background red and everything look good because container is not a full width if I change this one so as you see it's not full width so well, what I'm going to do is that I will go to my uh, to my uh, top menu template and assign a class there so again my template folder model module or model then top menu block top menu block top menu and we have this block top menu all right so again let's back to my browser try to identify the classes so divide the block top menu block top menu so almost not possible to change it from here uh, so we need to go to my header.tpl why it's impossible because uh, as you see here the whole block or let's say the whole template generated is already uh, integrated into a container so this container does not come from uh, the module template that not, does not come from the block top menu .tpl. it's already generated here in the header .tpl. so if I try to find a nav class nav or try it nav so this is it this is our nav normally and next we find the hook top which contain our menu so what we go what we will do is that assigning a class here like a top menu container and again back to my block top menu so it's best practice one of the best practice to keep the style of each element on its uh, let's say on its default or you know, on its module style so uh, in this case uh, as we did here we assign a new style for the container of the block top menu so I can put it onto my global.css but it will work but in not be a really good practice and uh, it will not be you know perfect for beautiful constructor so right here I will add in my class then I will type background 
actually color then back to my browser because I open it I'd like to pick what is this color so I can use Photoshop right here to pick the right color but it's okay we're not looking for perfections right now we are learning the basics so it's uh, this is the color and also this tool is good or good to to get us the best the best color or let's say the perfect color code okay back to my new browser refresh and it really should be looking good okay and one more thing is the um, you we have some sort of border top or border bottom so I'll use border top for the menu and so I will go to my new generated or new set the last top menu then I will do border top one pixel solid and I keep I can keep the default color I don't know CCC or you know we can you let's customize it a bit and make it a bit less bright it's perfect this one again into my blocks of menu.css back again refresh and should be looking pretty much what we're looking for so now we need, we need to go to we need to change the background of my top menu so again inspect it then change the background color properties into this color pick it then move to my ID again to edit this superfish dot modified or dash modified dot CSS it's under CSS again module top menu then CSS then superfish line exactly 13 to my 13 then this is the background we need to change move the dash okay uh, we need to now to change the a color again still on the same file so profession.modified then pick the right color which will be the white for most cases mm, it's look a bit aggressive so maybe I can lower it a bit mm, look good and we need to remove the borders we don't need any borders or maybe put them are transparent so we do not have problem in the hover oh, again I will just keep keep it as three pixel but color should be transparent do not have problem with the hover effect later and uh, we need to what else so let's apply the changes first for the for the color in line 61 61 like the color speak again is c9 c9 c4 right okay the problem is that i change the order so so this is it c9 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 good save and refresh the page see where things are okay one more thing I would I'd like to tell you if you're working and customizing this style and uh, refreshing is a total for you which means you know uh, refreshing the page take a long time to to be displayed and uh, to be ready so there is a little good things to do which is on the back office on my, uh, of your control panel go to preferences uh, sorry advanced parameter performance and this is it so the cache you need to um, if it's like this so uh, the page will take too long to load so this is it uh, I would like to show you how it looks like when the cache is off so you can see it even when this page is taking too long to load okay so it's, we are more than 10 seconds and still loading even in front of us it's taking too much long so if it's the case for you you only need to set the cache system to yes or to on that uh, press the shop will generate template using the cache and uh, also you need to so this should be yes and this should be recompile template if there or the file have been changed or have been updated so this is 
um, let's say the good setting if you are working with PrestaShop integration, CSS and JavaScript and you know the template part. Now we can close this and back to the menu. What is left is this ugly border. In my case there is no border in the template. So we need to I think it's applied into an ally. Um, so this is it. Border right in line 15. Line 15 I think my computer got a bit slow. Okay, this is it. Line 15. There is no border right. Now we need to center the content of the, of the top menu. Okay, so again with my inspector, go to the whole URL, then added the property of text align center. Then one would think, I guess, or I think, I'm pretty sure that these ally are floated to the left, that's why they did not follow along. So remove this one. Pretty good. Then change or let's say added another property here which display uh, inline blocks. So far pretty much good. Again line 51. Copy this. Go to my ID again. Line 51. Background top. Remove this one. Then the UL. We need to assign not this one I guess. Which line? The line 15. Okay. Go to 15. Text line center. Okay. Very good. And we have some sort of border bottom. We don't need it actually. So let's remove it. Okay. Let's make it very much, much beautiful. Okay. Oh, again, my D. We don't need that, and also we have some ugly border top for the menu uh, on hover and with our whole cell line 85. Remove this, then looking for border button, also this one. Refresh, mm, it's not good yet, we still have this border. So the problem was that the ally got some negative margin here. One of the things that I really hate so much using this negative values as you see so it's really torturing dealing with negative margin so try to not use these things ever in your code. Again we need to just remove this one to have the needed result.